There is the reaction. Kenya Martin Jr., KJ Martin, played a couple of seasons at Sierra Canyon alongside Cassius Stanley and Scotty Pippen Jr. He's got some athleticism to it. Yeah, he's one of the most explosive athletes in the draft. Six foot seven, almost a 40 inch vertical, and has really improved his skill level. He's been working out in LA with Chris Johnson and Clint Parks, and I've been able to watch him, you know, work out over the past few months, and his shooting has really gone to a new level, and that was the missing piece for him. So he's an energizer, he's physical, he's explosive, obviously has some great lineage there as the son of Kenyon Martin, the former number one pick. Yeah, Kenyon Martin was the first overall pick in the 2000 draft, and now his son, KJ has been selected in the second round. Rockets traded for Kenny Martin Jr. in the second round of the draft last night. If you guys don't know who he is, of course, he's former son of Kenny Martin, a former first round pick. And honestly, they share a lot of similarities. Super athletic. Martin Jr. is one of the most explosive players in this entire draft. He has about a 40 inch vertical. He goes about 6'7". You see right here, he can just throw it down. And by the way, I don't know if I can actually show these clips without getting copyrighted. I will leave the original video in the description. Shout out to Overtime, by the way. Martin spoke about his style of play. I have the 3 and D role, getting it done on defense 1 through 5. Whatever coach needs me to do, whatever my teammates need me to do, I'm going to try to get it done for them. On the offensive end, I'm going to be able to stretch the floor and create for my teammates without exactly having the ball in my hand. So just taking stress off the team pretty much and being the energizer bunny and doing whatever it takes to win. Now, my honest thoughts on Martin is that he is a raw prospect. We know that he's a good player. He has a lot of work to do. He's just 19 years old. I don't see him having an impact on the Rockets this season. I could be wrong. We know that if things work out correctly... He could be that 3 and D guy for the Rockets. I just don't think he's a good enough shooter. I know he shot about 71% in the endurance three-point drills in the combine. He had a great combine. He looks very promising. But I don't think he has the body of work right now to be an NBA player for the Rockets. And I mean just right now. He's going to be a good player for the Rockets. He, even next season, I could see him having a role with this team. But just right now, if the Rockets plan to win a championship, which it looks like they are, they just traded Robert Covington to clear up a cap to go get someone, maybe a Christian Wood, a Serge Ibaka or someone. Maybe they have a plan to trade for Steven Adams. Maybe they have a trade to, a plan to trade for Clint Capella. I know that sounds like a long shot, but Hawks just drafted a Kwangwu, who I believe is the best center in the draft. I watched a lot of him in high school. Super athletic, a great rim protector, undoubtedly the best big man defender in the draft. The Hawks got him up. So yeah, they could keep Clint Capella, John Collins, in a Kwangwu. But what would be the point of that if the Rockets can somehow finesse Clint Capella for Eric Gordon and Daniel House? And I don't know if I would trade a pick with that. I mean, to this point, I probably would because if we can get Capella back, who should never have left to begin with, that would be great. Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Clint Capella. I don't know, though, because you traded you traded basically a first-round pick in Capella for Covington, and then you traded Covington. So it, it makes no sense. I mean, I guess don't trade the pick, but if you can get Capella back for Eric Gordon House, the Hawks have two big men, good big men already. They're going to need some depth on that wing position. So maybe they have use for Gordon House, especially if they're trying to make the playoffs. Those are going to be guys that can score or defend that they're going to need. But yeah, let's let's stick to Martin though. We don't want to get too into that. I'll probably make a video on that after this or later on. But Martin, he has the frame, he has the size, he has the vert. His athleticism is untouchable. It's very good. It's at the top of the entire draft. He just has work to do with his body of work. You look at a guy like P.J. Tucker and how he's six foot six, but he plays above that. He plays like a big man in the NBA. I feel like Martin is going to play that role for the Rockets. He'll probably be a small forward, power forward. But right now, can you say that this kid is going to be an NBA starting small forward? I don't think you can. He's basically a raw prospect where we know his potential. He just needs to get there. He needs to keep working, keep getting better, developing, which he will. He's just 19 years old. I'm looking forward to it. It's a good pick. At the end of the second round, you want to take guys that have that upside, that have that potential, guys that can come in and do big things for your franchise. He kind of reminds me a little bit of Derrick Jones Jr. I mean, I feel like Derrick Jones Jr., he, he's, a, he's a good player. He's not anything great or anything, but he kind of does remind me of him. And Derrick Jones Jr. is a pretty solid player for the Heat. So if he can develop into something like that, we know that he has the defense ability, the vert. That's my comparison. I need to see more of him, but right now, man, he has bunnies, he has ops. I think Energizer 
funny is the perfect way to describe him. He could be a spark bug for the Rockets where he comes in, plays a few minutes, and does a highlight play. Standing 6'7 with a powerfully built 215 pound frame and limited length, Martin is not especially big for a power forward, which made the development of his perimeter skills and potential to evolve into more of a wing especially notable. From an athleticism standout, he leaves little to be desired, possessing an impressive blend of strength and quickness and the explosiveness to dunk the ball emphatically anytime he finds a crease in sight. A man among boys at the prep level, Martin was a force around the rim on both ends of the floor, this season scoring at will in spurts and throwing shots in the stands on the defensive end. More importantly, he also showed key growth as a shooter, passer, and ball handler in space. Defensive Analysis Lacking great length, Martin is nonetheless strong and athletic enough to conceivably guard multiple positions, a steady competitor, he had some eye-opening moments last season. With limited height and experience, especially on the perimeter, Martin flashes good instincts as a rebounder and shot blocker, but is still developing in many ways. Career Highlights Originally committed to play basketball at Vanderbilt as a freshman in 2019-2020, in August 2019 announced he would play the 2019-2020 season for IMG's Academy's postgraduate team with the intention of entering the 2020 NBA draft. Postgraduate averaged 19.6 points, 8.3 rebounds, 1.5 steals, and 1.1 blocks in 30 minutes per game. He shot 69.1% of his 2-point field goals and 67.2% of his free throws. So yeah, we're going to need to see him develop more of a free throw. I mean, not that 67 is terrible, but you'd like to see that get into the mid-70s. That would be right where you need to be. He also grabbed 2.1 offensive rebounds per game, and he led IMG to the number two seed in the 14-team National Prep Championship, a tournament featuring the nation's elite postgraduate programs. Him playing with James Harden and Russell Westbrook is going to be essential for his development if he actually gets consistent playing time which probably won't happen this season but say next season even if Harden or Russ stay which it, for to this point it's possible Harden or Russ staying for possibly for the next few years like we don't know but I think that Russell Westbrook and James Harden would be good for him because he's going to get open looks he can run pick and roll with them now you have to remember he is six foot seven 215 pounds which is pretty undersized for a power four but in today's NBA we see six foot six six foot seven uh center so I think that this league that ha has developed the past really decade is perfect for Kenny Martin Sr., or I guess Jr., my bad. Kenny Martin Sr., uh, prime Kenny Martin Sr. would be great on the Rockets, but I think they share a lot of similarities, man. I think he's going to be a good player for the Rockets. Wish him nothing but the best of the luck. Happy to have him on the team. It's your boy Swaggy signing out. Peace.